Hey team, and welcome back to the channel. Here in Beijing for the weekend, checking out a few of the sites. Today we're checking out one of the most iconic attractions in Beijing. So here are five things you need to know about the Forbidden City. The reason that it's called the Forbidden City is because the palace was, quite literally, forbidden to anyone who wasn't royal, a high-ranking official, or a servant. There is a longer, more detailed explanation, but really that's the gist of it. The Forbidden City occupies 720,000 square meters. For a size comparison, the Vatican measures 440,000 square meters and the Kremlin measures 275,000 square meters. It has more than 90 palace quarters and courtyards, 980 buildings and over 8,700 rooms. The Palace Museum is already large enough for you to spend over a day exploring, but can you believe that's only the 60% that's currently open to the public? An overall repair of the Forbidden City is underway and planned to finish by 2020. Emperor Yongle, yep, Yongle, began its construction in 1406 and the complex was completed in 1420. 14 Ming Dynasty Emperors and 10 Qing Dynasty Emperors ruled there until the abdication of the last emperor in 1912 when the Republic of China was created. Yellow was the official colour of Chinese emperors and meaning respect in Chinese culture was widely used on the roofs of most palaces. So there you have it, five things you probably didn't know about the Forbidden City in Beijing. Definitely worth a visit if you're in that part of the world. It gets about 16 million visitors every year. I swear most of them were there the day that I visited, and I'll put a link to that vlog in the description below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and remember, get busy living.